Hey everyone, today we're going to talk a little bit about role-based authentication. Uh, I've been getting a, a question lately about how to show or how to hide different parts of your app to different kinds of users. Like let's say for example, if I have an admin, I want the admin to see more information than the regular users. I made a short sample to show you how it's done, but let's see this user here, I'm logged in in my application, can only see a see your events button. But if I log out with that user and log in with let's say admin at however.com, you'll notice how that user is also able to see a button to create new events. To explain how this is happening, like there's something we need to understand first about Firebase. And it's that the authentication and the database parts are not connected. So if you want to store something, like if a user is an admin or not, you have to manually store it in the database. For that, we have our, our regular user collections. Like whenever I sign up a user in my application, I create a document about that user in my user profile collection. And I just store the uh, variable. It can be something like is admin set to true for the admin users. And notice how the other user doesn't have any other information. Then when we're working in our source code, what, what we do is that we use the ngif angular directive to show or to hide that block of code depending on the variable. And then what we need to do is like, we need to first get the user that is logged in. We can do that with the Firebase SDK using the on off state change. It is an async function that always gives us the logged in user or it returns null if there's no user. Once we have the user, we're going to use that user's UID to fetch our document. And then when we, once we get the document, we can assign the property is admin to our variable is admin in the page. That way our page knows what we're talking about and it's going to show the information whether the user is an admin or not. And that's it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you plan on doing something like that in your application or if you do it any other way, I'd love to know how. Uh, also, I'm going to be, be investing more time on creating video so do let me know if there are other things that uh, are causing you issues or troubles with Ionic or Firebase that I'd be happy to do my best and try to record a video about it.